Hello there, I'm Stephen Kirkbride from KT Numerology. Now this reading today is for ladies born on the 5th of April. Hello there ladies born on the 5th of April and if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Now, what I'm going to say, uh, we're going to get into the planets, what rule over here. Uh, and before we do that, we're going to mention something about a, a playing card which is assigned to your birthday. Hello Tijen! And some fatal attraction dates in numerology, which also are assigned to your birthday. Now, a little bit about you. Let's start off, yeah? You're, you're good, you're self-confident without being arrogant. That is beautiful. Right? You're not arrogant with it. You're just self-confident. Some people might think it's arrogant, but you know, I know different. Uh, hi there, Tijan. Hello there. Uh, so, uh, and you're also good with projects and keep on going steadily. When others fail, they just walk away. You'll keep uh, hammering away at it and keep going at it. And you can have success that way. Uh, I call it tenacious. You're a tenacious one, 5th of April. Always have been, always will be. And you're very well balanced. You seem to be balanced where other people are either high or low. You'll keep uh, in balance. And that's a great part about you, you know. Now the playing card, the lucky playing card. Let's get to it. It's the three of spades. Now if you carry this in your purse in your bag or anywhere, you know, in a frame, next to your workstation, you name it, put it anywhere, it will bring you luck. Now, you have 13 fatal attraction dates in numerology. Mmm, you have. And I'm going to give you three of them right now. In a full reading, you get all 13. So I'm going to get you down. You'll have 10 left after I'll give you this three, right. Uh, one of them is January the 14th. Another one is March, uh, sorry, uh, March the 10th, I'm going to give you four, right, I made a mistake, spirit, that for you, yeah, now March the 10th, January 14th, July the 2nd, October the 9th, they are fatal attraction dates for you, now, I can't say a lot in case children watch these videos, but what I can say is that it's dynamite, on fire. These uh, fatal attraction dates against your birthday are off the record energy, right? As far as I can go with children listening. So, anyway, uh, remember your three of spades card and they're your fatal attractions. Now, we're going to get into planets now which rule over your birthday. We've got Mercury, uh, Mars and Sun, yeah? Uh, then we'll mention a little bit about other things as well. Now, uh, you know, uh, your feng shui and your, uh, your tarot. So, right, Mercury, your first ruler, rules of uh, uh, communication and how we out outwardly express ourselves, not inner expression, outwardly to other people, how we come across as such, yeah? Uh, and in myth, in the myth world, Mercury has unlimited access to the underworld. Now, you take that as you want. You own this, right? <laughs> yeah, so you take it. Uh, Mercury, is, Mercury is also the social butterfly and the queen of all networking events and parties. Now, uh, you let Mercury help you. You call him Mercury, because Mercury's ruling over you, right? So, uh, if you need to foster growth in relationships or business, Mercury. Uh, use Mercury in your own life to foster anything, you know? Just call on Mercury, and uh, uh, that'll be... You know, for you, you're calling Mercury. So, uh, call Mercury. Now, we're to Mars here, the god of war, yeah. Ruling over you, and rightly so, yeah. Uh, hello, I'm Mars, I'm known the god of war. However, I'm also the protector of those who cannot protect themselves. I also assist when I see bullying. Mm. Now, you can, uh, oh, Mars also rules over willpower. So you can ask Mars for willpower here. And if you ever come across anybody what's being bullied and you want to say something, because uh, we don't know bullies' story, so it can be dealt with very cordially, you know, and uh, calmly, uh, call on Mars. Because Mars will look on it uh, in a very uh, beautiful way. Although he's going to the war, he likes to split things up if they're unfair. Yeah, so... Uh, you know, if there's anything unfair, Mars likes to get involved to split it up. We don't like unfair fights and unfair anything. So you call on Mars if you ever come across that. Now the sun. By golly, you've got the sun ruling over here, yeah? Lighting your path, lighting your way. 
Hello, I'm the sun and I rule over health and vitality. I also rule over health spas and windows and all things which you let in light. So, and did you know that I rule over the solar plexus, your gut feeling? Mm. It's where the third chakra system is based. Uh, and that's ruled by the goddess Lakini, who has the power to destroy or instantly crush fear. Yeah, so you've got this, yeah, Lakini, the goddess, who's ruling over the good feeling. And uh, now, so what the sun's saying, why don't you treat us into a spa? Yeah? Yeah, because it's real, real by sun and spas. You treat us then. Come on, ladies, you're worth it. You do it. And the goddess Lakini, ruling over the gut feeling here, yeah, wants to put fire in your belly. Yeah, really, offers you that. Talk a little bit about Aries now, shall we? Yeah, dwelling in the past, I think not said Aries. I move forward to the future. Now, you being an Aries, you can help. Hello there, June. Good evening. You can help people drag themselves out of the past, moaning and groaning about what happened to them. You can say, look... The future's there, let's march that way. That's what Aries can do. You know, I'm a Capricorn, I can help with banking, saving, you name all that lot. I can't help with that, what you can help with. So you get your work done with other people, gear a little bit to the planet. Help uh, them people living back there in the past, yeah? So that's Aries, yeah? So, uh, now, your rule, number five is the throat chakra. Mm. You rule the speech, public speaking, the fifth birthday, yeah. Uh, all forms of communication, humming, chanting, anything from the throat chakra. Yeah, and uh, there's a lot of fire around the, uh, this chakra because it cleanses uh, words, cleanses thoughts even. Uh, it's all cleansing from there. Yeah, and, uh, and they have a battle axe in the fifth chakra to cut away anything what's not needed in your life. So, uh, yeah, you're ruling over the throat chakra. Singing, yeah, ruling over that. Humming, chanting, you name it. Now, let's talk about your uh, lucky direction this year. Now, in Feng Shui, you've got a lucky direction for 2019, and it is southwest. So, send your prayers, your affirmations, anything you do, play your lottery, you name it, whatever you do, Play it at Southwest, it's your, find it on your phone, an app on your phone or a compass. Southwest is your lucky direction. Use it. It's real. Feng Shui, yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's that. Uh, your Feng Shui, yeah. Now, uh, just a little bit about the tarot. You rule by the fifth card, the Hierophant card. Now, it's our inner teacher. And represents inner powers, inward powers, you know. Uh, and it represents the three states of consciousness, the super consciousness, the ordinary consciousness, and the subconsciousness. This card's ruling over all thought patterns, yeah? Uh, so call on this card, the Hierophant card, to give you answers from your inner self. Because you are a party to this card, you know. It's the fifth, yeah? Yeah, you call on it. You know, don't be uh, shy, just call on the card, you know, and, uh, yeah. All I can say, a uh, little bit of warning, ladies born on 5th, you seem to live in fast lane, but be careful at side of the road at fast lane, because there's alcohol and drugs at side of that fast road. I know you sometimes like to live, and when you stop, when you slow down, you can be romantic and sparkly when you slow your energy down. And, uh, if you all listening out there, yeah? Yeah, uh, and you've got a very powerful, because five is a good feeling, what I mentioned earlier, and uh, you could work in armed forces, police, private security, anything like that, because you are born with a rock and roll, high-speed gut feeling. Yeah, it's, uh, the, it's the detective one, number five, you see, it's detectives. Mm. Yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, that's been my reading for you, and... Uh, You've all been welcome to it, born on 5th of April, and uh, maybe I'll see you in future, maybe not. But if you ever have a reading with me in future, an advanced reading, there'll be a lot more. Anyway, so, ciao, ciao, bye-bye. Thanks, June. Thanks, Tijan. 
uh, and I'll be back in five minutes with another video. Okay, bye.